What's happening? The thing is, uh, you can see. You know now the next speaker. Are you ask him? Just tell me who that is. He's just behind you. Wait. <laughs> some journeys that are ahead. We want the story of the 11th parliament to be rewritten. We want the story of the 11th parliament to be retold. Yes. Yes. We want children to sing praises yes. about the parliament of Uganda. Yes. That's what we want to achieve. The situation has not been good. The country has resented parliament and its members. We want that to change. Yes. And that change must happen. Yes. That change must happen. It's important. We certainly do not want the next five years to be like the last five years of parliament. We want to restore confidence of our people in the institution where they send their representatives in. We want that confidence restored. We want to build trust with the public. We want it to happen so that when you go to your constituency, People will stand and say, a member of parliament has come. Because the respect that yes, we now deserve. Yes. We want to change the way we do things. We will do things in such a way that it endears members of parliament to the public. How do we achieve this? We want to focus on their interests first. We want to focus on the national interest. We fo want to focus on the service delivery to them. We want to perfect those systems. My name is Betty Amongi. Akena, Member of Parliament of Yam County South. This is my fifth term in Parliament. I came to Parliament at the age of 24 years. Our motto is for God and my country. You must ask yourself why are the reverends, why are the priests, why are the bishops telling you support Jacob Olanya? We want to reinstate the motto for God and my country. And we want to say the women of this country are already benefiting on the policy that His Excellency, the President, has put in place. And that as women, we will continue to support the policy that is for all the women, all the girls, but not for one person. And that has 
us women, we want more budget for health, we want more budget for education, we want education for girl child, so that when I'm not there tomorrow, when Nankabira is not there, when Kadaga is not there, the women of this country are standing on a solid ground of women's emancipation. And that is why we stand to say it is about policy, it's about budget, it's not about individual. The women's agenda transcend religion, transcend individual. And that's why we are saying Jacob Olanya and all of us will work for women of this country for the next five years. Politically, I stand as an, a person. I stand politically as a person whom His Excellency, the President, appointed from another political party. And why is that? Because the president is communicating that we need the politics of harmony in this country. If he has told us we want the politics of harmony, why can't we have harmony in the parliament? Why can't we ensure that all arms of government are in harmony in that policy? So for me, in pursuant of His Excellency, the president, politics of harmony, of engagement, of ensuring that we are working together. I want to say, in the next five years, I can say we have not been breathing. We now want to breathe in the next five years. And we must breathe. And on Monday, we are going to say, we must breathe. Hallelujah. I thank you very much. I am praying that Jacob Olanya takes the chair yeah. so that other people who would like to become speakers will learn a lesson. Yes. Okay? Yes. Do you know why we, have, we still have death sentence? It's not that we are punishing the offender. It's, it's, it's that we want you people who are living to take a lesson. Yes. Somebody must learn a lesson. Yes. Yes. Somebody must learn a lesson. You must respect your party. You must respect your, a party that has put you where, where you are. Yes. You, you, sincerely speaking, it's a shaming. Very a shaming. For somebody not to respect his or her parents. NRM is, is a parent to many of us. I've never belonged to any other party apart from NRM. When I come here and I see other people from other political parties, I say, wow, God is great. Please continue from today, Teddy Kuzikiza, from today onwards. Just add on. Don't donate. I have heard people here who are donating, donating votes. But the four, the four, the four votes. Please don't donate. We, they don't donate votes. No, go for them. Go for them, amen. I am getting excited. <laughs> Yes, I know you.